Welcome, my people, to another video on my ground oven shelter. This week, I will be uh, finishing the roof, and I will also be putting some trim around the edges. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you stay tuned. Okay, because I'm going through two layers of metal, I bought a punch. You gotta have it. I like the older stuff better, actually, because I can walk on it. This newer stuff I can't walk on, you'll, you'll uh, dent it. Okay guys, I don't quite have enough to reach the end of this roof. So I'm going to have to use this crappy piece here and cut it in half so I can have make it the full 10 feet of length. edges here that I cut are really sharp and dangerous. This cap on today, that's what this is. And uh, there's a seam right here. So I, does, I hope it doesn't uh, back up. You know, I just, I want it all to go one way, the water snow melt so we'll have to see if it leaks or not okay, guys. the roof is done for now that's it Done! Okay guys, I got a bunch of oak firewood here we found and uh, at my parents' place, dried, so this should be good and ready for my ground oven. Okay guys, you can see it's all dripping off this overhang, but none is leaking in here, dude. Not at all. Love it.
you got to get this wood out of this grass. It's just going to waste, man. It's just rotting under here. Frozen. Tamarack. So this wood will be good for uh, when I'm uh, making spears and just to keep warm. Okay guys, when I made the shelter I wanted to make it with a, a lot of overhang so when you get the snow melt it doesn't run down on these posts here and rot them. So, and uh, I might want to stack up wood under this side too. So that's why I got a lot of overhang here. It really comes in handy. You can stack up wood under there and uh, it won't get wet. Okay guys, I'm just about done. All I have to do is put some trim around it and that's about it. Let it snow. I don't care. See you next week. Maybe I'll be cooking at it by then.